have your full breakdown for the Phantom Nightmare 100 plus event from Kong's Cards. Welcome to the Era of Fire. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. And remember, check out Kong's Cards. Use discount code MCO40 and save on your purchase. Your top 16 breakdown. There are going to be a lot of very interesting takeaways from this. Your most represented deck was pure snake eyes smashing the meta. Like, this is actually, when you're looking at top 16, seeing that snake eyes percentile shift in the meta is nuts. Then we had four Fire Kings bringing it up on the rear. And then you also had Rescue Ace. You have 11 Fire decks in the top 16 alone. Talk about one of the biggest meta shifts that we have ever actually seen in the TCG to this point. And then we had Flanderies, Purely, Kashtira, Purely Sprite, and a Branded deck. Those were your only challengers to the meta. Oh, this is this is crazy to see. So, does it get any better when you shift on in to the top eight? Yes, yes it does. Fire King is now your highest represented deck in the top eight seed. And that's very interesting to see because Snake Eyes lost so much of their representation in the shift, but unironically, Snake Eyes actually ended up winning the event. So that's actually amazing. Flander comes in second place, barely scraping by, which is kind of crazy to think about. And then purely, uh, there's always going to be one purely deck that Fire King, you know, these other variants, just can't handle a big cat. And then Kashtira with the mid-range control options proving to be a little bit safe of a takeaway. No runic. Oof. That's crazy. All right, at the end of this, we're, we're going to go through top 16 deck lists, but there's two goatee lists for 18th and 30th that I also wanted to include that we featured in video content this week. All right, so winning our event here is none other than, yes, the, the full gas power of Pobbler and Friends. Now, this is interesting because you see this build smashing through Cosmic. You have Super Polys built in. You have Econs in here. This deck is just, it challenges so much of what we've expected out here. And they're also main decking the subversion in here as well. Like this is just a pure anti-meta monster. Also no dramatic chase in here. So kudos to seeing this win. Second place was Flanderies. Hey look, a deck that can competently play Dimension Shifter. Very good. Now you did see that this build had to actually play multiple feather storms. Uh, this is mainly because like you need the you need to be able to handle the meta right now and feather storm actually blinking your opponent's entire turn and actually kind of blinking you know whatever you need to possibly on your turn with the multiple of these you need these and that was very successful top four we have our purely variant and you know i don't really feel like much has changed in here other than hey we're main deck in the triple super poly man you gotta love the fact that all of these builds Super poly this, super poly that. And you also see that we are playing dimensional fissures down here as well. This build kind of forced to take more proactive action to, you know, make sure that they can at least clean up some of these more problematic cards along the way. Thanks, Meta. I really do appreciate you forcing us to play this card. Our last top four deck here is Fire King. You do see that we do extend out our Snake Eyes package with the Oak. We're still playing the Triple Ash in here. There's your Triple Bonfire. And another version of the Sinful Spoils uh, spell card as well. Definitely something to this right now. I also see this build is playing a Destructive Darumacan and something to go thrust into out here and actually help things out. So that's actually kind of interesting to take note of out here. So cool. Okay, what else we got in here? Top eight. Huh. Hi, Pobblers. How are you? Another version with the... I have a feeling that you're going to see a lot of the TCG play in this because this is an automatic out to literally anything problematic that they could be setting up in terms of a Floodgate monster. Um, you know, Vanity's Fiend or something, just go ahead and crystal it. It takes care of everything that you need to. Uh, there's the change of hearts. You have the mind controls. There's the soul releases. Glad to see soul release actually getting some playtime down here. Okay. Next up here, we have more Fire King. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Triple Ash is going to be amazing, this format. All right. Triple Kieran, the 1-1, one, one, that's pretty normal, I feel like. One Thrust, the Triple Talents. Okay, you have the Econs for the defensive measures. I've been seeing a... Looks like we're about to get on into an Econ format here. If you're seeing this much enemy controller, especially, like, at this stage, um, I think that's kind of worth considering. Okay. Next up here, we have gas, 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 the synchro friend. All right, you have the birch, you have all of the little snake eyes packages. Bill chose to play the Nibiru. Honestly, Nib might be pretty okay. And then, of course, you do see the dramatic chase. This card is really good, actually. You do see cross outs, you also see the soul releases. Man, you have the absolute craziness down here. Soul release, about to hit $10, I feel like. For the meta and your last top eight build here is the dimension shifter and friends it's literally just coming down to you know the decks that can play shifter that see shifter in the most critical times are going to be the ones that unfortunately i think are going to be the ones to succeed out here so you know kind of kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at these lists in particular um hello prep I'm so glad to see that you're doing well with the one ogre as well okay um i don't see anything else really too crazy here uh moving on along to top 16. all right so we do have nimble angler in friends yep there's your sprite package there's your purely package um this is just the overflow good stuff dot deck i feel like at this point you know you try to capitalize on a lot of this advantage that uh, this deck tries to offer you and have it go well of course you know I say advantage, but you know, you, you play good cards to kind of help, you know, with the craziness. Um, oh, hey, look, somebody's playing Birch. I think it's a good day when we see Birch, honestly. I love Birch, I think it's a cool card. Um, okay, we actually are playing a Gamma and a Driver. You know what? If you if you see it, it's good. Once again, the TCG is on this subversion, man, like straight take care of the floodgate monster. And then, of course, the Cosmic Cyclones, ripping away those troublesome cards, absolutely. All right, what else we got back here? Hey, look, this build chose to play a Monster Reborn and a Where Arf Thou. There's nothing wrong with that, all right? Like, I, I think the more you get into the deck building aspect of things and the more you, you try out these little options, little tech choices, you can you can have a little bit of fun out uh, here. Once again, you do see the super polys. You see those cosmic cyclones being sighted. All of the fun good stuff that you want to see. Good. All right. Hey, look. More pure snake eyes. This is going to be a trend I'm going to have to deal with for the next 11 weeks. Oh, Monster Reborn. Uh, we do play the One Divine Temple. You see the super polys. You see the tack talents. You see the triple thrust. Very easy stuff. Both side decking, you see the drolls doing their thing. Also a cult by the grave, that's kind of cool. And then of course we can slam going second, make yield evenly matched, and then proceed to laugh at the opponent. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty normal day. You know, all right, what else we got back here? Hey, this is a little bit different. We played a magician's soul in here. We played an instant fusion. Ah, level fours. I suppose it's kind of cute. Uh, we do play one thrust triple talents, sure. Uh, triple DD Crow for the immediate answers to the opponent's troublesome cards. I feel like that's pretty good, too. And then, of course, enemy controllers in the side deck. Enemy controller is about to be very expensive. Calling it now. All right. Uh, oh, hey, look, it's our branded list, finally. Somebody out here still making the Red-Eyes Dark Dragoon and doing it successfully. You have the Super Polys built on into this bad boy. That's fine. You have the gimmick puppet lock to hand this on over to your opponent. Not a problemo. Um, standard stuff. One brain in lost, the one brain in red. Look, that's pretty normal. And then you do see the one gold sarcophagus to help you out with the Mercurier plays. Okay, okay. Uh, what else we got back here? Ah, hey, more Fire Kings. Delicious. Uh, this build chose to play double Ponics, which I think is fine. Another subversion in here, man. Okay. We do see the Curry Kara doing its thing. We have double Soul Release, okay. I see double Fire King Island, yeah, that's pretty normal. One Skyburn, yeah, Skyburn's definitely gonna get cut back. Oh, I mean, Subversion kinda helps with a lot of the problems that I think you might be running into. And then we have our Rescue Ace deck, wow. Our Ace was 16th place. 
That's disgusting. They actually played in the triple copies of the Gravekeeper's Inscription. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, anything to try to slow down your opponent. You do see we are playing the subversion in here as well. How many builds are going to play this? We have the double tack talent as well. And then, of course, ghost bells. Yeah, this all feels pretty normal, I feel like. The one Curry Kara puts me off, but okay. 18th place, our goatee list. Sporting off them dimensional shifters. Yeah, this is the good stuff, man. Uh, we are also playing triple ready fusion here as well. Having watched this Duelist games, I will tell you that this deck is crazy. And it's a shame that it barely missed top 16. But you really should give this thing a shot. Like, I didn't realize how crazy Goaty was actually capable of being. Especially with the most distant, deepest depths. And I see we also side deck the Goaty Fury. Okay. And then 30th place was another Goaty list. This one caught my attention. This is playing the Horus package in here to give a good supplement base. And then you do see that we are able to use the Water Enchantress good stuff in here as well. And then uh, take your picks of field spell abuse. This was this was kind of cute to see. Like the idea of this is very interesting, especially we're seeing the subex sorcerer down here as well. Okay, this is this has been an event. Let me tell you what. But if this is a clear indicator of anything, buckle up. We have a meta to see how it goes. So please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here in day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.